Well, hello everyone, Dylan here. Happy Throwback Thursday, and the rotation leads us to a Harry Potter review, and today's of which is on uh, Dobby's release and Slytherin from 2002. So on front of each booklet, you see that interesting border and the logos and set number and the set there is. And on the back is how all the sets come together to form a kind of neat display, which I'll do in a future video. And then after the Chamber of Secrets, PCCD-ROM game, and the last step for that. Slytherin's of which, same stuff, but a little bigger, of course. But for the other PCCD-ROM game, an alternate build of the set. And the last step. So first of all, for all the minifigs included with each set. Which is a uh, thing. Okay. So, so as you see, we have uh, Dobby and Lucius Malfoy, Crab and Goyle, or rather in disguise to them, and Draco Malfoy. So as you see. So as with Dobby's of which, his headpiece of which kind of reminiscent of that of Yoda's, or older Yoda's, but of course with the pupils in them. And of course his torso print, oh whoops, a little different than, or kind of similar to later versions, but in this mint green color, but at least they fixed that with other versions, but, and of course the headpiece was redone two times over. For that in like 2010 and in 2018 with the CMX series, of course. And then Lucius Malfoy, some good front torso print, and which you can definitely use in some different settings and cu of custom figs and all. And of course, hairpiece, just like what later Luke Skywalker oftentimes had. Yeah, as for the ones in Slytherin, the torso print, all the same with the core suiting since they're all in Slytherin, of course. But Draco Malfoy alone, about the same as from two other sets from the time, and and of course all holding the old bar pieces for wands, of course. But also none of which have any back torso prints since they're older figures. And if you, and of course a couple of these do have reversible spin around heads, and of course. Since these two of which being Harry and Ron in disguise as suiting to this part in the movie, of course. Although it would be nice if they also did a uh, cat Hermione, which we are getting in one this upcoming summer wave, of course. First, but I guess that is it there. So first of all, for the buildings is the little section for Dobby's release. As you see, just a little corner section of Hogwarts because as you see in the advertisement, it's kind of a corner of the dueling club above uh, Snape's classroom, of course. So, you can see a couple of little torches above and mix of like uh, light gray, tan, dark gray, and sand green, which was common to these older sets. And, and if you wonder what the two bit there is for, which you'll see in a moment. And of course, good use of those castle uh, window pieces. And of course, you get the old school uh, book piece, which is probably representing Tom Riddle's diary. And of course, good printing on the front and the spine, and also on the back, of course. And uh, since it kind of clips opening and whatnot, and you get this little printed tile piece that has the sock that Harry uses to free Dobby with. And also, a little common feature of old, these older sets is turn this up and get this little one by one plate in there, which is also common in other sets. And also, 
is the part from behind. Pull on that, and it reveals this one by one tile that of which has this little magic sack with a bone and spider on it. Kind of, which kind of neat how they did. And at least good in, uh, good amount of space to fit both your Dobby and Lucius Malfoy figs onto, of course. And next to which is a uh, Slytherin, or as more properly no or properly known to as a uh, the Slytherin uh, calm room, of course. You can see fairly much of anything kind of similar to the Troll on Loose set, but which you'll see in a moment. And as you see, there's plenty of green, of uh, regular green above, well suiting to that Slytherin, of course. And of course, a large uh, panel piece with the Slytherin symbol there. And if I like turn it, and kind of opens a large way, probably to the Chamber of Secrets, of course, or elsewhere, or hidden chambers of it, of course. And also a couple of black snake pieces representing sculptures of snakes, of course. And you get a lot of tubes and a pot and also a little sword there. And also a little tile, but just like in the sorting hat set from the year prior. So the old school shield piece, also with the Slytherin symbol on it. And if you look above, see a couple of flames on it, and Black Owl piece. And so now, also what they tend to like to do is, if you have the Draw on the Loose set here, and it's supposed to put on top, but basically how you do so is just break this top part archway off, and break the thing off it and stack it on top of that and like so And well, since there is a not much, but at least it does provide a good parts back for some Slytherin stuff, of course. And so now, on to it, the final vertex. So for my overall vertex on these, then I think they of which are uh, pretty good sets for the time, like first time of ever getting Dobby, and also something representing the scene of when Harry and all get to go in there, of which drink the transformation spell or potion, of course. Although kind of a shame they didn't include Cat Hermione, although it would have been a little too much for them. But at least we're getting one this year, of course. And at least these are kind of a sign of the times where I believe where Dombey did look kind of creepy with the headpiece, but at least they improved it over time, of course. Although it would have been nice if they also did sets like this, but with each of the four houses, of course. Although that can be said with the newer uh, fold out book sets that I previously reviewed, of course. But well, if you're looking to get this for your old school uh, Hogwarts display, then definitely pick them up. And if you still have access to them, then I'd say go ahead and pick them up. And if you, and also if you still have these from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And also good luck getting them. eBay, Brooklyn, whatever. That's about it for this video. Like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.